What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Weekend League Rewards video. I've been doing these the past couple weeks. If you guys are curious of seeing what I've pulled, go check out my last uh, couple videos. I pulled some monthlies last week on Thursday. Today we have the top 10 rewards again, and I'm kind of shocked. I went 25 and 0. I had a very high strength of schedule, so I thought for sure I'd be number one. We're going to take a look and see who got number one, but it's the same ordeal. Two Hail Mary packs, two midfield packs, two red zone packs, two touchdown packs and one full legends player which you know we don't know what we could pull one of these new recent legends i'd love in this full legends player pack you know no one no old legends please because i got i've been pulling a lot of Troy palomalus as a race recently and that's someone i don't want to even look at but yeah man i'm shocked i didn't get number one i was at number one and skimbo ended up getting number one by oh my god this is as sweaty as it gets shout out to skimbo man I was in his stream and I didn't know if he went 25 and 0. And next thing I knew, he was 25 and 0 and he barely beat me out. Great stuff to Skimbo. Um, I thought for sure I'd had number one locked up. But you know, here's the top 10 myself, um, Kiv or whoever plays on this account. Got Fancy up there, Joker Kale, Breeze, my guy. I'm not too sure who Fun Guy is. Got Stiff up there, PA Counter Go, Chris Football. A lot of demons on the Xbox side. Um, and you know, I'm just gonna walk it all the way down to the top 100 if you were curious on you know Where you went if you uh, didn't know or just in general who what your favorite player on Xbox went and all that good stuff You see right here um, KCP um, TTV Maddox have a couple videos against that guy Sieve another demon and Xbox is just full of demons man. You see right here. It's just tough weekend league on Xbox is very tough 18 wins it's you know, that's how you know it's tough when you could get 18 wins and still crack that top 100. So shout out to everyone who did show up in that leaderboard. And just shout out to you guys who play Weekend League each and every week, even now. Towards, you know, I wouldn't call it the end of Madden 22, but it is kind of, kind of coming to that second half, uh, third quarter, I guess you could say. You know, enough talking. Let's get in these packs. You saw us get the 400K. Hopefully our packs make up for it. Last Weekend League packs we got were a massive dub. We pulled a lot of good stuff. I want to say we pulled like a Travis Kelsey Platinum Elite, which will end up going for 250k. And guys, I'm going to be locked in like crazy this next week. This is uh, it for Madden 22, man. This is my last chance to have a last chance in the tournament. Um, LCQ is coming up. I like how I'm playing. I've been playing really well. I've been, you know, doing pretty good in these like weekly tournaments and my money games, even in weekend league, obviously. But, you know, I still got to still got to play perfect, man. That's really what it comes down to at the end of the day. You gotta play perfect. Hopefully we could do that. We've won LCQ before. Definitely not possible to do again. No one said it's gonna be easy, but you know, I believe in myself. And that's the only thing that matters. See right here, Tyler Heineke. Shout out to the Washington football team. I wanna say that might be the QB for the future, but we'll just have to see. It's right here, Kadarius Tony, 91 overall. And that's 88 Joe Thomas. But this Kadarius Tony slot archetype is what we need more of them. I need another 99 speeds, 90 Keyshawn. So, I mean, that's great training value. I look at these packs as training value at this point, man. Um, I know I'm not going to pull nothing crazy. I did pull some good heat last week, but, you know, I look at it as training value now. And take a guess down below in the comments who we are going to pull. Full Legends player pack. Still don't know why Brandon Marshall is on the cover of this. But, you know, hopefully we pull some heat. We have 2.5 mil. I'm going to show some content in a second. You know, new Team of the Week cards. But let's see who we get. Please bless me up one time. No Tro Troy Palomalus. No Troy Palomalus. And boom, I called it. Alan Fenenka. This is a massive dub. It's not the limited, but a massive, massive dub. And, you know, we still we have 2.5 mil. We're, we're just chilling in coins. Guys, if you want coins, play every week in league. Play a season a, a day. If you can and you are just gonna be set i'm gonna show you guys what i pulled do a quick little team update i'm gonna show you if the new team of the week content is out boom we're definitely gonna clear a mil i would like to say or at least like 800k out of these packs boom 343k he might even play for you boy i'll show you guys what the team is looking like but all these guys are gonna get quick sold for the most part um i might keep this Keyshawn to sell boom 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 Everything is getting quick sold. Need that training for when this playoff promo comes out, which is hopefully coming out soon, man. Let me know when you guys think playoff promo is coming out. It has to be by the end of the week. Like, there's just no way because the playoffs are going to start right after that. But, you know, boom, we got some great training value. 17K. We have a lot of training for, you know, whatever goons are coming up on the squad. 
um, and boom, we're gonna quick sell this 400K. And it's like probably gonna be like 750K, maybe even close to 800K in weekend league. But you know, we'll take that for number two. I wish we could have got number one, but either way, um, shout out to Skim. You know, he he got it by 0.200. That's as close and as sweaty as it's gonna get. Mad respect to Skimbo. I watch him almost every day whenever he's live. That's my GOAT. And, um, you know, I, I didn't know if it was able to be done. Like, it was going to be a close call. I wish I was there in the final game. But, you know, number two, I will take it. But here's a team. We're rocking a Raiders 50 for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to change it before LCQ. There just hasn't been enough content, guys. Um, one thing I will say is I love my offense. You know, offense is cool. Uh, I use one slot apprentice. And Cliff Branch for that is one for one AP is very solid. Um, you know, just can't ask for anything better than that. Roger Craig is cool. He might get the boot, guys. Probably gonna be Bo Jackson time in a couple days because you know Bo just simply knows. Calvin Johnson, very good card, six foot five. But hey, there's a new Odell. I know y'all seen that. Hey, I'm not gonna say if he's on the team or not, but hey, Odell got swag. He's a new card, and yeah, that's all I gotta say. You do the maths on that. Then we got Vernon Davis with tight end apprentice. So if you want to check our abilities out real quick. Quick little team update for you guys. Escape Slinger, Tight End Apprentice might take it off, honestly. Slot Apprentice will definitely stay on. Backfield Master might take it off. And Post Up, which is staying on forever. Post Up is great ability. I'm not really a firm believer in O line abilities, but you know, if you know I'm using one of them things, you just know. And on the defense side of the ball, we are rocking a Raiders 50. We got this new Fred Van Pelt, um, or Brad Van Pelt. I don't know why I keep calling him Fred. I'm thinking maybe a Fred Van Lee, but you know, excuse me for mis mispronouncing or, you know, saying his name completely wrong. Brad Van Pelt, let me show you a stat real quick. If you want someone in the D-line as a spy or as a three wreck, this is your guy. He, he goes on the D-line, he's six foot five, he's 95 speed. And you know, his glitchy attributes are his zone coverage. He has 90 man coverage, which is insane in 92 zone. Unfortunately, if this guy had like 90 finesse move even, or even 85, he was permanently on the D-line for your boy, but 79, I just don't know if that's going to cut it, especially now. Um, it is great to have that card versus escape artist and all that type of stuff, but you know, I just don't know how I feel about having a guy with 79 for next move on the D-line. And then lastly, picked up this Jack Tatum. He's our blitzing linebacker in 3-5 wide. He screams. He has 88 strength. I mean, he's just really, really good. You know, he the only knock on him is that he's short, but you know, you see his 97 hit power. Great tackling, great man, great zone, 98 zone. Um, and then I'm, I'm trying to see if he has pass rush moves, and he does. He has 75 power move. So, you know, if you blitz him in 3 through 5 wide, you know, don't be surprised if he even sheds. Uh, some plays, I might even, instead of containing my linebackers, I might even just blitz him and let them do their thing. But that's it for the Raiders 50. Really, no recent upgrades or changes besides those two players guys you see right here this new obj he might be my new slot receiver i won't lie to you he's a little shorter than calvin obviously but yo he got swag it's odell beckham jr i might have to try him out he's unfortunately not in the game yet so that's why i wasn't able to show you on my game screen this might be a new cop and also someone who might be on the squad is this guy right here 98 finesse move 99 powered up 93 speed he might as well be the new defensive tackle for a lot of people once more shout out to metality best account to follow for mutt content daily mutt content go check him out but 93 speed 99 finesse move yo this card is going to be insane on a cardinals team team a panthers team team I, I for some reason i thought he played for the giants but i mean i guess not but this card is really insane alongside that obj so massive team of the week limited w's um, just waiting for that playoff promo, man, to set my team in stone. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, man. It was a filler gameplay. We got Mutt Headley gameplays. We got FNF gameplays. We got competitive gameplays. Everything, man. We have so much gameplay on the way that it's going to just overwhelm you guys with the amount of gameplay we got. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Much love. And yeah.